I was editing some footage yesterday and I realized that some of you might not be aware of this little trick that can make footage shots on older or kind of entry-level DSLR and mirrorless cameras look sharper, better and more big budget. Rolling shutter is usually just talked about when it comes to things like whip pans and fast camera movement, but it can have an effect on regular handheld footage as well, especially when it's footage with a lot of details in it. And for those of you that don't know, the rolling shutter distortion is caused by the time it takes for the camera to scan or read the entire sensor all the way from the top down to the bottom. So the readout speed obviously differs between different camera models, but the longer the time it takes, the more likely it is that either you, most likely, or your subject moves just a little bit and that can cause these micro distortion ruptures in the image even if it's very very subtle once you start correcting some of your footage you're going to see how much of an impact this can actually have on the look of your final footage now fortunately for us it's pretty easy to correct these problems in Premiere Pro, if you're working with footage from a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, I normally use the warp stabilizer that have a built-in rolling shutter repair function in it. If you go ahead and expand the advanced section, just underneath the detail analysis checkbox, you will see there's a little rolling shutter repair or ripple effect. So down here, we have the automatic reduction selected by default. Now, this usually gives me the result that I'm looking for, but if you want to, you can always switch to the enhanced reduction. Now, if you're working with vertical video or footage from smartphones, you may want to use the second option in Premiere Pro, which is called the rolling shutter repair effect. And this works about the same as the one in warp stabilizer but it will give you a bit more control which you may need now most dslrs and mirrorless cameras read from the top down to the bottom and have a rate of about 50 to 70 percent and the default value of the rolling shutter repair effect is 50 so you can go ahead and play around a bit with that value but the interesting part comes here in the little drop down menu here because if i have my camera here and it's reading from the top down to the bottom now if i go ahead and tilt my camera this way sideways because i want to shoot some reels or what have you it's now reading left to right now apart from the detail analysis options which you may want to check there's a warp and a pixel motion option now the warp function is going to give you a great result most of the time. The pixel motion uses something more closely to optical flow, which you may use to fake slow motion footage. It will give you very good results, but it may take a little longer for your computer to process. Well, I hope this was helpful and I'm kind of curious to hear back from you guys once you start experimenting with this on some of your footage or maybe already using this technique because to me it took some decent footage and made it even better and i can't wait to hear from you and and i hope that you will experience the same now well it's getting dark so uh, how about we'll see each other in the next video okay thank you for watching bye